Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about the secret to sounding better on ukulele. Let's talk about the ukulele for a minute. Uh, this is the Mitchell ukulele. I'll put the description in, uh, in the description. <laughs> and um, I love this ukulele, man. Uh, I've already done a video on this ukulele, so I didn't want to make this video about the ukulele. But um, what I did want to make this video about is how to get better at ukulele. Because let's face it, this is one of the easiest instruments of all time. Why? It's got four strings and anyone can go and you basically just hold it kind of like this, right? You hold it like you hold anything and you hold it like a baby, really. Um, you know, so, uh, and also the chord shapes are insanely easy. We can take this third fret of this third finger and I have a C chord. A minor is on the second fret, second finger. So, what, uh, where the difficulty in lies in ukulele has nothing to do with the chord shapes over here. It takes a little bit of time, but once once you get used to it, you can pretty much play any chord shape you want on ukulele. The real difficulty lies in this. So let's talk about that today. The strumming of the ukulele. Um, there's lots of different methods, actually. And the funny thing that I found when I first started playing ukulele about a year ago was that every video you go to says something different. It'll be like, hey, use your thumb. Okay. Well, in my opinion, the thumb is kind of dark and dull sounding. And so when you go down with the thumb, you're doing it with like this part of your thumb, right? Not the very edge, but more of the meat of the thumb right here. So when I do that, it works and it sounds okay. But when I come back up, now I get a whole different kind of tone because I'm using the nail versus the meat of the finger. That's why I'm much more of a first finger kind of guy. Okay, that looks funny. <laughs> Anyways, so if I use my first finger, first thing you wanna do is just be real nice and relaxed with the wrist, okay? So if I'm using my first finger, it's gonna be like in this relaxed position right here. You see how relaxed my finger is? And I'm gonna allow it to kind of work with the strings. So I'm actually using like that part of my finger to go down on the strings. But when I come back up, this is the benefit of using the finger. I can come back up with the meat of the finger. So I'm going down with the meat of the finger and I'm coming up with the meat of the finger. Therefore, the tone doesn't change like it does with the thumb. Listen to that, that gives you two different sounds. So if you're looking for that kind of thing, sure. But that's why I'm a first finger kind of guy. And then you'll get people who will literally use all of their fingers, power to you. That is not easy. <laughs> Every single time I try to do that, I get more of a, the problem is I get more of the sh than I do the tone. Listen. So I guess that works for some songs, uh, if you're really looking for that full body sh 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 sound kind of sound. But that's why I stick with the first finger. I feel like it gives you the best tone um, for strumming. Now, aside from that topic on how to strum ukulele, I think you should use the first finger. Um, aside from that, the second thing that's really important that you don't ever hear about in ukulele, you know, method books or teachers on YouTube or anything, is how important the percussive nature of ukulele is. Let me explain. So. I'll have ukulele students in here and they'll be, you know, young, uh, young chicks and they'll have a really pretty kind of indie kind of voice, that thing that goes well with ukulele. Um, and they'll sing beautifully. But the problem is, since they're singing beautifully, they're not really thinking about the instrument as being an instrumental thing. And what I mean by that is you want your voice to be beautiful, but you also want your ukulele to compliment you. So how do you do this? How do you do this? Well. Here's a, an idea.
take a sheet like this that has lots of strumming patterns on it and learn lots of strumming patterns. Now, of course, the strumming pattern that most people play on ukulele is exactly this. Down, down, up, and then you go down without playing, up, down, up. Let me show you again. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So that's nice and pretty and everything. So now we have uh, what I consider the best place, way to strum the instrument. Now we have uh, the strum that's like 90% of ukulele. Where do you go from there, right? How do you continue to advance on ukulele? Here's my opinion. My opinion is to learn about what drummers know really well, which is called meter. Meter is something that I need to do a video on all on its own because meter is a concept that no one talks about because no one really uh, thinks about it or understands it in a musical way. Um, you know, they think you're talking about water meters or something. But what meter is, uh, what mo when most people talk about meter, they're thinking like 4-4, four, 3-4, four, 2-4, four, four, right? Time, time signatures. But it's actually uh, more in depth than that. It's what beats are strong in the music and what beats are weak in the music. This creates rhythmic motion. When you have some beats that you give emphasis to, just like when we talk, we give emphasis to certain words. Uh, when rappers rap, they give emphasis to certain words. You wanna do the same thing when you're strumming. So here's a good example. Uh, with that down, down, up, up, down, up pattern, I'm emphasizing what's called the downbeats more than I am the upbeats. So how I get that sound that I'm getting is I'm letting those one twos, and in this case you don't play three, you play four, be more um, more dominant and the ands, the those are the little guys. And this is literally a motion thing. So when I'm doing this, I'm literally making the dominant ones bigger, a bigger motion, and then I'm coming back up in a smaller motion and I'm going back down in a bigger motion. Okay, depending on what I'm going for, strength and weak wise. So take a, take a, um, a genre like um, bluegrass. How uh, bluegrass, a lot of time, they'll emphasize the upbeat. So you want something like. Or something like. like I know a lot of bluegrass okay but I did learn uh, that one little uh, bluegrass pattern there most of almost all the time when you have a strumming pattern if you have a bunch of little notes in the middle like duh, diga, do duh, diga, do duh, the diga, that little fast run there is gonna be small on purpose so the do ta do diga, do ta the smaller motions are going to be the faster rhythms. So start thinking about making your strumming have weight in some areas and weaknesses in others, and your ukulele playing will have more character. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.